what I'm about to tell you is so important. It's so amazingly important that you will be using it every day for the rest of your life. Well, well maybe not the rest of your life, but it's super important. And we'll definitely be using it repeatedly in this course. And we'll be expanding upon it later in this course. It's a theorem. Let A be an n by n matrix. The following are equivalent. A is invertible. Ax equals B has a unique solution for every B in Rn. Ax equals zero has only the trivial solution. And finally, the reduced row echelon form of A is the n by n identity matrix. Let's go ahead and give you the idea of a proof of this. Proof. Start with A implies B. So the proof of part A implying part B. This is actually just theorem 3.7. How about the proof that B implies C? Well, just set B equal to zero. The proof for C implies D is very interesting. Suppose AX equals zero has only the trivial solution. So we're assuming that part C is true for our matrix A. That means that the rank of our matrix A is N, that's by theorem 2.2. And therefore, by the definition of rank, the RREF of A must be the N by N identity matrix. Proof that D implies E is not very difficult. However, it uses something called elementary matrices, which is not something that we're covering. So this uses elementary matrices, which we're not covering. Not because it's not an interesting or useful topic. It's just we're, we don't have time. It's a short. Uh, term. I don't know if you call it a semester. It's a term. Tombstone. 